Hi, I'm Andrew Wilson, part of the engineering team here at Bard. This video will cover the Fusion Tech series PLC control startup for new installations. This is part of the Bard Breathe Easy video training series. So let's get started setting up your Fusion Tech system. We're going to start off with the LV1000, which is the communications controller for the Fusion Tech system. Our first step, we're going to click on the settings button take us to a login screen where we're going to enter in our service password. The default for the Fusion Tech system is 1313. This will bring us to our main menu and under that main menu the first thing we're going to do is set our date and time. Date and time is under our settings menu so if we scroll down to our settings and click enter we'll come up to another sub menu with our date and time and click enter again. First we want to set our time zone, since we're currently in New York, Indianapolis time zone, that's where we're going to leave it. To get to the next screen, after we set our time zone, with our cursor up in the upper left hand corner, we press the down arrow, and that'll come to our date time change screen. To set the time, we hit enter to advance the cursor, up or down to change the time. Once we're done setting our time, we can change our date format from year, month, day, day, month, year, month, day, year. Change our date, the month, and the year. And once the cursor is back up in the upper left hand corner, our time should be set. After we've set the date time, we're going to back out to the system main menu where we're going to go into the system config menu to set up our total number of units. To do so, this unit has two units, which is a default for any installation. If we need to add three or four, we just bring the total number of units up to three or four, hit enter, and that sets the total number of units. After we've set the total number of units, we can advance down to the system temperature set points. For most installations, 79 is gonna be your, your cooling set point, and 60 degrees is going to be your heating set point. After these have been set up, we're going to back out to the main menu. And our next menu is the IO config menu. This is where we set up any temperature, humidity sensors that are connected to the system. The very first screen is going to be your digital inputs, which is your smoke, hydrogen, generator alarms, those will all be enabled by default. If you are not using any of them, we suggest that you disable them. How you disable them, you would scroll down through them until our cursor is highlighted on one. In this case, it would be the hydrogen alarm. With the cursor on the enable field, turn it up or down to scroll it to off and click enter to advance the cursor. Once you're done, you can take your cursor back to the left hand, upper left hand corner and press down to go to the next screen. The next screen is digital outs. Then after your digital outs, we have our analog input sensors. Indoor humidity one and indoor temperature one will be on by default because we assume that you would use the temperature humidity sensor that comes with the LV1000 system. If you are adding a secondary temperature humidity sensor, we'll have to turn on those inputs by scrolling to the next available indoor humidity two and indoor temperature two and enabling those devices. Now that we've finished the LV1000 setup, we're gonna move on to the Fusion Tech wall unit. The first thing we're gonna do is plug in the tech eye. On the tech eye display, First thing we want to do on the wall unit is go into our main menu setting. Again, enter the service password default of 1313. First, we're going to go to our system configuration and we're going to set our controller address. For this installation, this unit is unit number two. Click enter. After we set up the controller address, we want to advance our cursor back to the left, upper left hand corner and go down to page A10. On this page, we can initiate a system run test, which will actuate your damper, the cooling, and the heating function. So at this point, we would like to 
enable the run test by advancing the cursor down to run test enable, pressing up till it says on and enter again. Now at this point, the unit is gonna actuate the damper, the cooling, and the heating. After this step is complete and no alarms have been triggered, we know that our system is working properly. After you've completed the run test on the unit, repeat these steps on each additional wall unit in the system.